The air is different here, thinner, cooler. You can smell the pine, feel it in your lungs. This is Baguio City, the summer capital of the Philippines, a city that climbs up into the mountains, a labyrinth of winding roads and breathtaking views. Forget the beaches, the palm trees, the postcard version of paradise. This is something different. This is a city that gets under your skin, a place where the air itself feels alive with history, with art, with a kind of raw, unfiltered energy you don't find anywhere else. This is a city where ancient traditions meet modern life head on, where you can wander through bustling markets piled high with exotic fruits and hand-woven textiles one minute, and find yourself standing in the hushed reverence of a centuries-old cathedral the next. This is Baguio, and this is a story about the kind of place that stays with you long after you've left. A place that gets into your bones, that leaves you forever changed. So come on, let's get a little lost, shall we? This is going to be interesting. So you want to know why a place like Baguio gets under your skin? Why people come back year after year drawn by some invisible pull? It's not just the scenery, though the gods know it's breathtaking. It's not just the food, though we'll get to that, and trust me, it's worth the trip alone. No, Baguio is about the experience. It's about getting lost in the maze of Session Road, that artery that pulses with the city's lifeblood. It's about haggling for antiques and handcrafted silver, about the scent of freshly baked pastries mingling with the smoke of street food vendors. It's about hiking through lush forests to hidden waterfalls, the air thick with the scent of pine needles and damp earth. It's about standing on the edge of Minesview Park, looking out over the Cordillera Mountains, a vista that seems to stretch on forever. It's about the people, too. The artists and musicians who draw inspiration from this unique landscape. The farmers who bring their produce down from the mountains. The families who have called this place home for generations. Baguio is a city of layers, each one revealing something new, something unexpected. It's a place where you can lose yourself in the crowd or find solitude in the mountains. And that's the beauty of it, you see? You can come to Baguio a hundred times and still discover something new. It's a city that rewards exploration, that challenges your perceptions, that forces you to slow down and really see it. So pack your bags, leave your preconceptions at the door, and come with me. Let's explore this city together. Let's get lost in its energy. Let's taste its soul. Trust me, you won't regret it. You see, Baguio isn't just some tourist trap. It's a city with a pulse, a rhythm all its own. It's a place where art isn't confined to galleries. It spills out onto the streets, into the cafes, into the very air you breathe. Musicians play on street corners, their melodies weaving through the crowds. Artists set up their easels in the parks, capturing the city's beauty with bold strokes. There's a vibrancy here, an undercurrent of creativity that's impossible to ignore. And then there's the climate. Forget the sweltering heat of the lowlands. Up here the air is crisp, cool, invigorating. It's the kind of weather that makes you want to pull on a sweater, sip a cup of locally grown coffee, and watch the world go by. But it's the festivals, man. That's where Baguio really comes alive. The Panagbenga Flower Festival, a riot of color and music, a celebration of life itself. The streets explode with floats adorned with thousands upon thousands of blooms, a kaleidoscope of scents and sounds. Or there's the Ibaloi Day, a tribute to the indigenous people of the region, a chance to experience their rich culture firsthand. The air thrums with the beat of traditional drums. Dancers move with a grace passed down through generations. And for a few glorious days, the past and present merge into one. This isn't some sanitized, Disney-fied version of culture. This is the real deal, raw and unfiltered, and it'll get under your skin, trust me. It's the kind of experience that stays with you long after the last pedal has fallen, the last drum beat faded. So come. Wander these streets with me, soak up the energy, lose yourself in the rhythm, let Baguio work its magic on you, because once it gets a hold of you, it never really lets go.
Listen, I'm not gonna lie, I love a good meal. And this city, this city knows how to eat. Forget your fancy restaurants and Michelin stars. We're talking about the kind of food that sticks to your ribs, the kind of flavors that explode in your mouth. We're talking about steaming bowls of pinnick pecan, a savory chicken soup darkened with etag, a traditional smoked meat that'll knock your socks off. We're talking about longanisa, those plump sausages bursting with flavor, best enjoyed with a steaming plate of garlic fried rice. And don't even get me started on the strawberries. Grown in the surrounding hills, these ain't your supermarket berries. These are the real deal, bursting with sweetness, best enjoyed fresh from the field. But it's not just about the food itself, it's about the experience. It's about pulling up a plastic stool at a street food stall, the air thick with the scent of grilling meat and spices. It's about sharing a meal with locals, their laughter washing over you like a warm wave. It's about discovering hidden gems tucked away down narrow alleys, places where the food is made with love, passed down through generations. It's about the way a simple cup of coffee, through the traditional way, can taste like pure magic. So come hungry, my friends. Come with an empty stomach and an open mind. Let Baguio tantalize your taste buds. Let it take you on a culinary adventure. Trust me, your stomach will thank you. All right, you've had a taste. Now let's get down to brass tacks. You want the highlights, the places that'll knock your socks off? Buckle up, kids, because we're about to embark on a whirlwind tour of Baguio's most iconic spots. First up, Burnham Park. Picture this, a sprawling green oasis right in the heart of the city. Rent a swan boat, stroll along the pathways, or just soak up the sun. It's the perfect place to catch your breath, to find a moment of peace amidst the city's energy. Next, we're heading to Mines View Park, a place where the views will literally take your breath away. Gaze out over the Cordillera Mountains, a vista that seems to stretch on forever. And while you're there, don't forget to haggle for some souvenirs from the local vendors. Now, no trip to Baguio would be complete without a stroll down Session Road. This bustling street is the city's beating heart, a vibrant mix of shops, restaurants, and street vendors. Lose yourself in the crowds, soak up the energy, and don't be afraid to haggle for a bargain. Feeling spiritual? Then a visit to the majestic Baguio Cathedral is a must. This architectural marvel, with its rose-colored facade, is a sight to behold. Step inside and feel the weight of history, the quiet reverence that permeates the air. For the art lovers out there, a trip to the Ben Cab Museum is non-negotiable. This world-renowned museum showcases the works of Benedicto Cabrera, one of the Philippines' most celebrated artists. Lose yourself in his evocative paintings and be sure to check out the museum's stunning gardens. Ready for an adventure? Then head to Mount Costa, a nature lover's paradise. Hike through lush forests, marvel at cascading waterfalls, and challenge yourself to conquer the mountain's peak. The views from the top are worth every step, trust me. Want to step back in time? Then Tam Awan Village is calling your name. This living museum showcases the traditional houses and culture of the Cordillera people. Learn about their way of life, marvel at their craftsmanship, and gain a newfound appreciation for the region's rich heritage. And finally, no trip to Baguio would be complete without a visit to a strawberry farm. Pick your own juicy berries, indulge in strawberry-themed treats, and experience the sweet taste of Baguio's bounty. So there you have it, kids. A taste of Baguio, a glimpse into the soul of a city that defies definition. A city that lingers in your memory long after you've left, that calls you back time and time again. But don't just take my word for it. Come see for yourself. Get lost in its winding streets, breathe in its cool, pine-scented air, and taste the unique flavor of its spirit. Plan your visit to Baguio City and experience its enchanting beauty firsthand. And hey, while you're at it, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments what you're most excited to see in Baguio. Until next time, keep exploring.